Now it's ready to adjust the bulb clearances or the bulb lush. The firing order is one, two, three. Cylinder number one is on the top dead center. Both valves are closed, intake and exhaust. At the second cylinder, intake valve is open and the exhaust valve is closed. And cylinder number three, exhaust valve is open and intake valve is closed. Just like that, as you can see in the video. And if we are going to see the accurate timings right here on the timing gears, we can see that right here, the timing mark of the camshaft and the timing mark of the idler must be technically aligned or specifically aligned rather. So this timing hole is to be considered as the timing lap. Injection pump timing. The cylinder one is in the compression stroke, so both valves are closed. So we can move or we can wrap the rocker arms and the cylinder three and thick valve is closed and exhaust valve is open. Intake is closed. So we can move or we can wrap the rocker arm. So the clearances of the cylinder number one is ready to be adjusted. Right here, cylinder number three, X-housed, is fully opened. And that is the sign that cylinder number one is in the top dead center or at the compression stroke. So the given clearance for intake is 20 millimeters and for the X housed is 45 millimeters. If we are going to adjust the clearances of the second cylinder, we have to make sure that the X housed of the first cylinder is fully opened. So, if it is fully open, that means cylinder number 2 is on the compression stroke or at the top dead center. So, that's the time for us to adjust cylinder number 2. The same procedure also if we are going to adjust the clearances of the cylinder number 3. So, the x house of the cylinder number 2 must be fully open. So, that means cylinder number 3 or the piston number 3 is at the top dead center or compression stroke so both valves are closed thanks for watching and i hope you learned some technical ideas see you on my next video bye bye have a nice day and take care